They are at the start of their journey. They think outside the box and they often come up with bright ideas. Their projects are innovative. They are a new generation of business people and their distinguishing features are creativity and enthusiasm. This is the world of startups, the program about IT developers and the industry of startups. Hello and welcome to the world of startups. I'm Sevi Kakishev. Today we talk about the places where we like to spend some of our free time eating out and socializing. Restaurants. Find out what's new in the restaurant business on this edition. Starting a business in a gastronomic area may be lucrative, but it's always risky. Find out what you should know if you want to open your own restaurant from experts. How do restaurant keepers satisfy customers' jaded appetites? A top list from the most unusual places to eat out in our program. Do you think that creativity and business are not compatible? Challenge this belief if you are full of ideas and take part in the Creative Business Cup Kazakhstan. The finalists will represent Kazakhstan in the final in Copenhagen. The gastronomic area of business is considered most lucrative in a small business sector. While in the retail sector revenues may comprise 100%, revenues from a gastronomic business may be from 200% to 300% from each dish. But things are not as easy as they may seem. Very often, new restaurants impress their customers at the start, but in a couple of months, their creativity dries up and they have to go out of the business. Only a few survive in this business for a long time. What is their secret of success? Watch the trends to find out. According to statistics, 90% of restaurant businesses fail in the same year they are set up. Traditional restaurants usually exist for about five years. Concept restaurants are normally run for a shorter time. Experts say that the main reason for failures in this business is an inconvenient location of the restaurant. Almost 50% of restaurant keepers fail to run their business because of an inconvenient place. The right place for a restaurant is a building in a city center that has some open air space for summertime. Second to the location is a fish management. And in third place is a well-thought business plan. An experienced restaurant keeper is alert and responsive to unexpected and critical situations. And most importantly, he or she is able to come up with creative and workable solutions in the changing environment and sort out unexpected problems that are not in the business plan. People may want to come to a place to eat out because the place belongs to the culture they, they themselves belong. This may be a community of business people, a business class restaurant, or the place may have a bohemian atmosphere. For example, this cafe where we are now. There's a library, a guitar and a flip chart for collective brainstorming. Also, customers may be attracted to the place because it appeals to their values. If a restaurant participates in charities or contributes to the development of local communities or it may serve certain food, for example organic food, it may entice the customer to dine there because of their lifestyle. In this case, customers will want to come to such a place because it appeals to their true values. There may be one more reason and why the place may appeal to the customers, their spiritual values or a social responsibility of the brand. When all these components are embodied in the project, it may become successful. It is believed that to open a middle-class restaurant, the owner will need 200 to 300 thousand dollars. If the project is successful, it may become viable by the end of the first year. However, the gastronomic sector of business in Kazakhstan is not very developed, so there is not much variety in formats here, and often places for eating out look similar to each other in the concept and designs. This is explained by customers not being prepared to radical changes in their preferences, and restaurant keepers fear to experiment. Although in Kazakhstan's gastronomic market there's not much variety, we have found a restaurant in Almaty where, apart from delicious meals, you can enjoy its cozy atmosphere. Find out about this place in the success story. This is one of the few restaurants in Kazakhstan that has an unusual concept. The restaurant looks like an apartment. It has a bedroom where customers can have a rest and sing karaoke, a room for children, a study, a room with a fireplace, a lodge and a balcony, a space where you can enjoy home-like coziness. Every customer here becomes a family member, so they are treated like friends or family. We treat people equally here. We don't categorize them as customers and personnel. That's in the concept of the place. 
Waitresses here parade in pyjamas, hair rollers and slippers. Waiters wear homey trousers. Every waiter performs their own role, for example a son or an elder sister. The personnel have equal rights in making decisions relating to the theme parties and other events in the restaurant. Sasha has been working here as a waitress for one year and feels like at home in the apartment-like restaurant. Our customers are our guests. We are glad to see each other. I have been called daughter for one year of working in this restaurant, as I am the only young female waiter here. The restaurant owners are superstitious in a good way. They have a live mascot, a cat cousin, which they believe brings them good luck. And the spirit of the apartment, called Gorsha, is a regular visitor to the restaurant. He likes to sleep by the fireplace and look after the cat, as well as to talk to the people in the restaurant. Do you hear the brownie talking to the guests? The place opened two years ago. Since then, its territory has been extended. Today, the restaurant's capacity is to receive 250 customers at a time. At weekends, the place is 98% full and on working days, it's half full. Last year, the restaurant won a number of competitions. It received the title of the best concept of 2013 and the people's choice. Quite recently, a similar restaurant has been opened in the capital of Kyrgyzstan. People say it's thriving now. Gastronomic business gurus always try to satisfy their customers' jaded appetites. In order to succeed, along with delicious meals and service, they are aware of the importance of unique atmosphere and the customer's impression after visiting the restaurant. In the market feature, we talk about unusual restaurants from around the globe with the most worthwhile and modern concepts. The Royal Dragon in Bangkok is the second largest restaurant in the world. 5,000 visitors can have a meal at the same time. It has 34,000 square meters of space and to provide a quick service, the waiters roll a blade, swim and even reach their customer by air. Although the Royal Dragon positioned themselves as a seafood place with the largest menu of seafood dishes, customers can find more than 1,000 dishes from Asian and European cuisines. Dini in the Sky is a breathtaking restaurant where its customers are served 50 meters above the ground. At each table, there are seats for 22 people with three chefs, waiters and an entertainer to serve the customers. All these people and equipment, including chairs with safety belts and a tent, are lifted with the help of a crane. The idea to build such a restaurant came into the owner's head in Brussels, but thanks to its mobility, the restaurant has already been to Germany, Hungary, the USA and other countries. An incredible experience of dining in an underwater restaurant is offered by a unique in its own way, the Itar restaurant, which is situated five meters below sea level near one of the Maldives islands. The restaurant was built on a seashore and then was submerged in the water in 2004. It was estimated that the restaurant would be able to function for 20 years. So those who would like to experience dining in the Itar had better hurry up as in 10 years, it may be too late. The place is very popular and you have to book a table there at least one month ahead. Creativity and strong sense of business are believed to be an incompatible combination. The international competition, the Creative Business Cup, has been open to fill the gap between creative ideas and pragmatic business solutions. Find out in the coming up. The organizer of the Creative Business Cup Kazakhstan is the Young Entrepreneurs Club. The competition was first held in Denmark in 2010. In 2012, it was held as a world-scale competition. Based on the results of local finals, 30 startups will be selected to participate in finals at a national level. The best project will receive 1 million tenge and will represent Kazakhstan in Copenhagen on the 17th of November in the World Finals. The successful project should consider creativity as their main asset and should also have good commercial potential. Well, that's all for today. Follow us on vk.com and Facebook pages of our program and leave your comments. I'm Serik Akishov. See you next time on Kazakh TV.